Hey guys, Mitch Grooms back for a video. What you are seeing here is an original, almost original, I'd say 90% original 1981 Special Edition Turbo Trans Am. And uh, it's actually black. Trust me. It's black. behind this car I really hadn't finished since I've had it and I want to kind of go ahead and kind of give the information about the car uh, I found some documentation that I've not seen for a while So you would call this car actually a yard find. A yard find. It's actually sat in the front yard of a house. I'm going to post some videos right now of this car. Um, the gentleman that bought this car from Alabama, he was he went to a car show in Alabama with his dad in 07, November of 07. They saw this car and they had to have it. At that time, the car was original. Paint was pretty good. But, you know, right now, not looking pretty good, right? But the car was in uh, pretty good shape. So what they did is they parked the car in front of the house until 2016. The car did not move for nine years and look right now at these photos of the car. So now what you're gonna see is videos of the car. Now they shot these videos in 20, uh, in November, I'm sorry, and uh, 16, December 16. And it was 12 degrees, 12, between 12 and 18 degrees that day. And I remember I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia, and we were gonna drive up to Alabama to see the car. So these are videos that they sent us. Now these videos are of very bad quality, but listen to the engine run or try to run but knowing that this car was sitting for nine years they got it running sounds terrible but they did it here's those videos
so after getting the terrible videos, and even back in 16, uh, those videos were terrible. They were done by a Galaxy phone that did not do <laughs> well on video. But with those videos seen, my brother and I, Scott, decided to go ahead and drive to Alabama and see the car. Well, I had cash in my hand and ready to go. This is, you know, I had to, I've been looking for a Trans Am, you know, since my 80 Trans Am got stolen uh, a year pri previously, and I was just dying to get a Trans Am. Now, this is not the car I wanted. I want a car with the hood scoop. I didn't want the turbo hood. I love the shaker hood, but I tell you, I've grown to love this car, and I do have the original window stickers to this car, and also the original uh, paperwork. So it's pretty, pretty cool that I have original documentation to this car, and that's what sold me on the car. If I didn't have the original window sticker, I would not have purchased this car. So, so far, took my brother and I about a week to get this car running, a week, and did all the fluids, we changed spark plugs, hoses, you know, built belts, everything. We just changed out everything. And here is the video of us going to our, our first showing, actually our first drive on the interstate. This is a very short video. Here it is. Well, here's our first trip on the interstate. Right, Scott? Yep. First trip on the interstate. Woo -hoo. First wash in two years. Explain what I'm doing here. I'm washing the car, and um, this car is actually a daily driver. So what's happened here in Georgia? We have pollen. Okay, so that's what's on this car. This is after two days. tell you what was most important to me about this car when I got it I wanted a driver quality car I don't want a trailer queen I want a car that I can drive and not have to worry about it breaking down and this car is very very reliable like I said before this is a daily driver I drive it at least five times a week and I do real estate here in Atlanta Georgia and clients do love this car it's really strange drive up and say what the hell is that and then they get interested in the car and forget about the house they want to look at but that's another story I digress so let me tell you what I've done well if you want to go to the videos of my car on this channel there are plenty and I'm not gonna bore you with it so again what was important to me is to have a quality driver car that's dependable now what I did with the paint this is the first time I've ever showed these photos of the car when I first got it as you remember all this right here is all bleached out by the, the rain you know the snow whatever up until here on both sides this trunk lid was in terrible shape so what I did to make everything match everything work together is I primed all this, but what I did, I masked off all the original pinstriping to this car, and I missed that part right there. So I masked it off, and then I kind of put a faux black paint on it to make it kind of work together. I even masked off the original decals. So it all works together. Didn't have to do anything to the hood. The hood has seen better days, as you can see. So I didn't have to put any kind of matte looking on that. That's what it is. 
This car has had some body work done. This fender right here. At some point, that will have to be addressed. But the rest of the panels are original and they're Bondo free. There's no rust all the way down here. All the core panels are very, very solid with nothing going on. All the doors are good. The trunk lid's good. So this is what I wanted to do. I wanted a quality driven driver car. I didn't want a trailer queen. So this car does get me a lot of attention. Sometimes, you know, kind of like, oh, not today, but people really, really enjoy seeing it. And I like to talk about it. Hope you really enjoyed this long video of the history of this car. I have never shown the photos of this car when I first got it. This is the first time. And it was, it was pretty rough getting it. My brother and I got it running in about four days. We changed all the belts, you know, we plugs, everything. We just kind of changed everything out. And it kind of straightened up. I purchased this car. I'm going to tell you what I purchased it for. I purchased it for $4,200. And I was stuck at $4,000. My brother said, oh, go ahead and give him $200 more, $200 more dollars. So I did. Got the original window stickers, all the original stuff. I knew who the original owner was. And um, so I think that will be conclude this video of the 1981 special edition turbo trans am she is called miss patina 2 and hope you enjoyed this series of this car and uh, please subscribe please uh, give me a thumbs up thumbs down let me know what you want to do with this uh channel and i hope you enjoyed this video and i guys i really appreciate you your support all right we're gonna wrap it up now Later.